Whenever we arrive in a new city, the first day is always a mess, right? We need to familiarize ourselves with the new place and we end up inevitably making mistakes that cost time and money. In this video, I'm gonna tell you five practical things that as somebody born and raised in Palermo, I would recommend doing right after you set foot in town, not only to avoid wasting time and money, but also to spare yourself some trouble and frustration. Let's get started. Number one, withdraw some cash. We are used to pay for everything by car, but in Palermo, this is not always possible. Many of the smaller shops, cafes, eateries, and tax evaders, yes, we have a lot of them, but don't quote me on this, and many buses and taxis do not allow you to pay with a card. Also, some places that do accept card may give you the stink eye if you're using it for small purchases like coffees because they pay high bank fees. So, as soon as you get in, find the nearest ATM and withdraw some cash from it. Having a little bit of cash in your pocket will spare you some inconvenience and save time. Number two, buy an Italian SIM card with data. In Palermo, having a phone with a reliable access to the internet can change your entire trip. Only a few touristy restaurants offer free Wi-Fi and there are even fewer locals who speak English well enough to answer your questions. So you will heavily rely on your phone to figure out how to navigate Palermo. If you don't have roaming data on your phone, you can get a SIM card with data and minutes for only 20 euros. Don't skimp on this, because I can assure you that this is one of the best investments you can make if you're visiting Italy. Number three, rent a vehicle. Outside the city center, public transportation sucks, especially at night. So if you intend to explore different areas without having a nervous breakdown, renting a car is a game changer. Take this piece of advice only if you are an expert driver. When I say expert, I mean experienced, good at it and not cocky. A cocky driver will come to a bad end in Palermo. You have probably heard about it. Local drivers are reckless and without discipline, but I see that visitors, not the cocky ones, get used to the Sicilian style of driving quickly and with hardly any problems. Also, if you have experience with two-wheelers, you might consider riding a scooter as it will make getting around even easier. Number four, plan an itinerary. If you are already in Palermo and you don't have a good itinerary to follow, lock yourself up in your accommodations and do not come out until you plan one if you want to save your vacation. Palermo has some of the richest cultural heritage and natural beauty in the world and tons of things to do, but at the same time, it is a big, chaotic, really disorganized and difficult to navigate. This means that if you don't have a smart and well thought out plan to follow, you end up wasting a ton of time and missing a lot of things. If you're staying for a few weeks, feel free to play the aimless explorer if you like. But if you are under a time crunch, take my advice and make an itinerary. Number five, provide yourself with reliable sources of information. Palermo is one of the most ancient cities in the world. Every single stone here narrates centuries old stories, anecdotes, legends, feats, and sometimes even tragedies that are not written in any digital panels. Unlike many other popular destinations like Dubai, for example, where you see just the biggest tower in the world, the shopping mall with the ski slope inside, you pull up a startled face and say, wow, and that's it, right? Palermo is made of history. If you don't know the facts, you risk looking at any point of interest like through the eyes of an imbecile. 
You cannot be just a passive spectator. You need to be an active and well-informed participant. So if you want to get the most out of your visit, hire a guide for the most important attractions and buy audio guides, buy a book, whatever. Otherwise, we'll just waste time and money in town only to come back feeling empty with nothing to share from your trip. That's it in the description box. I included a link to a page with tons of tips that you will not find anywhere else. Also, if you want to explore Palermo like a real Sicilian without falling victim to tourist traps and scams, visit our guide, That Sicilian Way. Ciao.